student is shot and members of a local fraternity are terrorized during an apparent robbery. Yeah, police are looking for suspects and now the victims are speaking out. In a story you'll see only on Local 12, David Winter spoke with some students at Wilmington College. The serenity of this small college campus broken early Sunday morning when police say four masked gunmen stormed into this fraternity house demanding marijuana and money. They put a gun to my head and started yelling at me, where's the money? This young man says he came home from work at about 1.30 a.m. and was immediately confronted by four masked gunmen. I honestly thought it was a prank at first and then until they started actually hitting my head, that's when I realized uh, it was real. Must have been terrifying. Sure, yeah, it was. He says when one of the gunmen started pistol whipping him, his fraternity brother attempted to come to his aid and was shot in the crotch area. It was about that time that this sophomore who was living in the house for the summer came out of her bedroom and was forced back into her room onto her bed. She says the gunman demanded money and her phone. I said, please don't take my phone. Like, that's my dad's phone. And he's like, I won't. You're a girl. You're chill. I'm not going to hurt you, which I thought was pretty odd for someone holding a gun to my face. The whole ordeal lasted a matter of minutes, and the students say the gunman left once they shot the victim. Police arrived shortly after, but did not need to lock down the campus because school is out. Our goal is to bring them in front of the court so they can be, uh, uh, so that the victims can have some justice given back to them, and hopefully these people can go to jail. Police say this was an isolated and targeted hit, and the public is not in danger, but the students all feel very vulnerable with the four suspects on the loose. They know our faces and our names, and I don't want anyone getting hurt any worse or possibly end up dead. So I'm going to do what I can to get them arrested or anything, um, get them in custody, and then I just got to move on. We did speak with a Wilmington College spokesperson who tells us nothing like this has happened in the college's 149-year history. Reporting from Wilmington, David Winter, Local 12 News. Mm, so scary, and the shooting victim is recovering following surgery. His friends say he's doing well.